Hello, my fellow interwebbers. This is I, Phantom Jesus, and I'm back once again after a very long hiatus with a brand new review on a Lego set of 2016 DC Comics Superheroes Batman Gotham City Cycle Chase. <laughs> I'm going to review in this in three sections, one about the box, one about the vehicles, and one about the minifigures, so you can click anywhere on the screen which matches what you want to see, or watch it all the way through. I don't care either way, but let's get on with the review. First off, we're with the box, and if you know me in any particular order, I don't like reviewing boxes, but it turns out if you do a LEGO review, you kind of have to talk about the boxes. So I'm going to do this quickly because it's kind of boring. There's your splash image. It looks pretty cool. You can see all the movement in it and all the playable features, the stud launchers, etc, etc. There's your big bashing logo with Batman in the corner and the LEGO symbol in the other. You've got your age rating, which is 7 to 14, the set number 76053, and the name of the set, Batman Gotham City Cycle Chase. If we look in the corner, we can see the minifigures available in this set, and as you can see, they're pretty cool. You've got Deadshot, Harley Quinn, and the Batman. And in the other corner, you've got the Batman logo again, as well as DC Comics. Flipping it around to the other side, we can see the big splash art, which you can have a gander at at your own leisure, but you can see all the playable features in it, including the stud launchers and the movable Harley Quinn hammer, which can have two different positions in this set, as well as being able to be carried by a minifigure. And in the bottom section, we can see all the playable features in this, including the grappling gun and the batarang, the movable hammer, the stud fire launchers, and the flick out side bits of the backer. I can't really explain it. It's a bit weird. And in the far corner you can see Build Something Super, which is a scheme by Lego. You go to that website if you want. And on the other side you can see the age rating, not to be given to people under the age of three, and Lego Club membership on the other side. Now the box is done, let's move on to the actual important parts of the video. The motorcycles. So, the first one we're going to be looking at is probably the draw of the set. It's going to be the Harley Quinn motorcycle, which just looks amazing. I love the oversized wheel and the tiny wheel at the back to uh, kind of balance the whole streamlined thing of the bat cycle. I like the little exhaust, which can be moved. You can move these up and down, as well as the um, steering column handle thing. You can raise it up and down so you can have a leaning forward or sitting up in it which is a nice little feature. There's not much else going on with the set. There's no other flick fire things, but if we were to turn it around, we can see you've got the movable stand for the hammer. Now you can either have the hammer in this section here, which will let you move it up and down in a kind of a side on approach. So you can kind of whack downwards or whack up, I should say. And then you've got another one, which is on the other side, which lets you go forward and backwards. You can pass it up and down. So you can kind of smash forward and smash backwards. It's kind of a nice place to store the hammer. So it's more streamlined if you want to do it like that, or just keep it out of the way when you're tidying things up. But either way, I really like this build. It's very comical, very cartoony, and just fits with the style. I love how they've carried on the colour theme from her costume into the motorcycle design, the red and the blue. It's a really nice detail, and I think it looks spectacular. Now, moving on to the streamlined Bat Cycle. Now, the Bat Cycle is the only vehicle that contains stickers, where you've got to put in the little bat symbols the other side, which, you know, I prefer printed tiles, but I can live with this. It's a really nice design, very streamlined. Kind of weird that the thruster thing is right behind him and it kind of points down. I don't know, it looks a bit weird. Kind of looks like a bat single more than a, like a thruster of energy. Um, nice little bit of detailing on the underneath, kind of like machinery, like the engine pieces, just very nice. You've got these little lights at the front, which kind of look like flick fire missiles, which actually don't do anything. So it would have been nice if they were flick fire. But apart from that, this set is really nice it's nice sturdy very streamlined very even compared to the harley quinn design and you've also got these things at the back here which are on the mixel joints you can pop out and then you can spin them around to face any of your enemies coming at you or fire them backwards because they're stud launchers which are pretty cool it's also a place where you can store your batarang and your grappling gun if you don't want to have that lying around it's a very nice build very um compact and very sleek and I really like it, and they go together really well, just to show the difference between the chaos and the order of Batman and Harley Quinn. Now, on to the minifigures. And here we are with the minifigures in this set, and I've got to say, these are some of the best minifigures I have seen LEGO do in a while. These are just so accurate to their comic book depictions, it's amazing. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at all the characters individually, just to see what they're all like. 
So first up is my personal favourite, Harley Quinn. Now, I really love the character of Harley Quinn, and I love how they've done her in LEGO. They've done all the variants of Harley Quinn before. They've done her classic um, jester outfit, which I really enjoy. But this new 52 version they've done is so cool. I just like the inspiration it's pulled from, the combination of other costumes, and just how camp and happy it is. Same time being very psychopathic, a lot like a character. So the design of this, you've got the torso printing, which looks really good, kind of the core... Uh, corset with the bullet straps around it as well as the lower leg printings which is double printing which is new for lego they're doing a lot of this now and i'm really enjoying this how uh, you've got the different layers of the costume works really well and if we look at the back you also see she's got back printing as well and her hair piece which is my personal favorite is a red mold dyed blue as well so you've got the mismatch of colors which follows her entire outfit so half it's red half it's blue it's really well done and i really like the level of detail they've gone into it also if we look at harley's face she's also got back printing on the face like a lot of the minifigures now do as standard so we've got this kind of happy grin as well as this disapproving uh, smile now at deadshot we can see his costume is just amazing it's a lot more comic accurate and it's really pulling out bits from his character which just look amazing the mask I really like how they've done that, the eyepiece, so you can zoom in on things, really nice detail, the little tiny eye to the side of it, very comic booky, very white, very nice. The side printing on his arms to look like his gauntlets look amazing, I wouldn't even thought to put a detail like that in, and I like the inclusion of that. Again, we've got torso printing and leg printing as well, so it's a grey leg but with printing on it, which really weird if you look the printing is slightly off which does annoy me a little bit he's also got back printing but that is obscured by his makeshift jetpack which i really like because you could have gone with a normal jetpack which you can get in um the clone wars series but they've actually got this makeable backpack which adds to the build as well as you can move the jet thrusters in any direction so you can kind of have a lot of playability with it which is just really fun and on to the draw of the set, the reason a lot of people buy this, the Batman. Now, this is New 52 Batman, which is one of my favourite Batsuits. It's very clean, very bulky, very armoured, which I quite like. And we've seen this Batman before, so we don't really have to go over him in much detail. But as we can see, there's the Bat symbol, there's the Bat belt, there are the muscle printings, which I quite like. And he's also back printed, so if we were to lift up the cape, we can see his continuation of the belt and his muscular back which is a bit weird um the cowl unlike the other cows of the past um doesn't connect at the bottom under the chin so it leaves it open which i quite like nice nod to new 52 and just generally prefer it to a closed loop one it doesn't look as uh, bulky and round if that makes sense the tiny little ears how it's all nicely modeled together and if we had to pull off his face he's got that weird band around his forehead that's his eyes which i guess is the only thing you can do in lego but it still looks weird when you take it off, and also he's got a dual head print, so you've got the stern created teeth or the unapproving smile of Batman. And of course he's got this really nice cape, it's really flowy, very soft, it's a weird material, but it, it feels great compared to the old really heavy cloth. Just before we go, let's have a quick look at the accessories which you can get in the set. For Batman, you can get two Batarangs and a grappling gun, a giant Harley Quinn hammer, which, let's be honest, who doesn't want a giant Harley Quinn hammer? And of course, for Deadshot, we've got his giant um, rocket launcher, which can fire studs, which is a nice little touch, as well as his poseable jetpack, which is very cool. Before we go, let's have a quick rundown of everything that's included in the set. It's a LEGO DC Comics superhero range. The title of the set is Batman Gotham City Chase. The ages are 7 to 14. It's a brand new set for 2016. The set number is 76053. It retails for around £19.99 or £20 if you want to be that accurate. And there are 224 pieces included in the set. The figures you get within this are Batman, Harley Quinn and Deadshot. And the vehicles you get within it are Harley Quinn Cycle and the Bat Cycle. Accessories including the set are Harley Quinn's hammer, Death Shot's backpack and rocket launcher, a batarang and bat grappling hook. There are some spares in the set which include an extra batarang and some odd bits here and there. So my overall rating for this set is going to be 6 phantoms out of 10. Now that is a fairly low number but that doesn't mean this set isn't amazing, it's full of just fantastic figures. but. It is lacking in playset features, but if you're in it just for the minifigures, this set is probably one of the best that has been released so far this year, so I definitely recommend you pick this up. 
and it is fairly cheap for a Lego set. And I don't know, if you're into box collecting, the box looks pretty cool, but just don't collect boxes, play with a Lego, it's weird if you don't. So, I've been Phantom Cheesecake, and this has been a Lego review, and I'll see you all in another video. Outro music, in-game!